This is just a box at the end of the day, but it's more than a box to me. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 emotional repair shop moments. He would have been very, very happy to see it restored mm. to its former glory. And my mum would have been thrilled as yeah. well. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the fixes in the repair shop that opened the waterworks. Let us know in the comments if you've ever had an antique restored. Number 10. Opera Phonograph A family brought in this old broken phonograph that was part of a woman's father's collection of phonographs and gramophones. The opera was his pride and joy. Right. Well, if this was his favourite one, we'd better make sure that we do a really good job on it then, hadn't we? <laughs> <laughs> the phonograph holds a lot of memories, but has unfortunately been damaged after it was knocked off a table and the horn broke. Hearing the old music play from the antique cylinders gets the entire workshop emotional, and that's before it's even really fixed. <laughs> They're able to reassemble the entire thing, clean it up, and even make some replacement parts from scratch. But when the music starts to play for the family, everybody shares in the emotional moment as the memories are brought back. I was feeling exceptionally nostalgic, but also uplifted in a really, really lovely kind of way. Number nine, piano stool. This um, belonged to my grandmother. I was actually born in the room that this lived, um, so I've known this all my life. This antique piano stool is a family heirloom, but one teething puppy decided to sharpen his teeth on the legs, ruining a lot of it. So the owner brings it into the shop for Will Kirk and Jay Blades to tag team, both professional furniture restorers. <laughs> they managed to fix it up and reuse a lot of the original materials including preserving some of the original repairs the owner's grandmother had done in the past. It's, it's just better than I thought. It'll be like having my grand with me when I play plumbing. When she sees the restored stool, she tears up, remembering the time she'd played the piano alongside her grandmother when she was little. That's how I remember it. And it just looks proper now, doesn't it? It looks yeah. like it should be. Number eight antique chest. <laughs> this is my grandmother's trunk right. and the history of it is um, the family were exiled from Poland by the Russians in 1940. This antique chest holds a lot of history. A woman's family bought this chest after they were sent away from Poland to a Soviet labour camp for a year and a half and then left Europe entirely to go to Mexico where they got the trunk. They couldn't go home because home no longer existed because it was taken over by the Russians. So they ended up going as refugees to Mexico. Eventually, her family came to the UK, still with the box on the famous Windrush, and she now wants it restored. But from Mexico, my mother and her mother and her sister um, actually came over to the UK on the Windrush. Will says that his family also came to the UK on the Windrush with that early generation generation of immigrants, and so is more than happy to do his best to restore the box after hearing about the family history. My grandparents came over to the UK in the Windrush Oh, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they came over from the West Indies. Number seven, monkey chair. For a children in need special, a woman brought in a wooden chair with a heart-wrenching story behind it. This chair was um, made in memory of my son, Etienne. When he was eight years old, he became suddenly severely ill with encephalitis. After surviving a serious medical condition where the brain becomes inflamed, her young son was left with a brain injury, and she eventually found a school that would accommodate his needs. Very sadly, he passed away a few years later, and the school made this chair to remember him. Wood out in the elements, untreated, you're going to get cracks and splits yeah. and things like that. But the chair has been kept outside and has gotten damaged, so it's up to Will and Jay to restore it. It needs to be completely dismantled, with new pieces of wood added to fill the cracks. I've also 
removed that nasty damage from the top of the monkey's head and I patched in a lovely new fresh piece of cherry wood. Number six, music box. Whenever he went out for work, he always brought my mother back something. Right. My mother's name was Rose. Many families probably have an old music box somewhere, so you'll be familiar with just how sentimental these objects can be. This particular one belonged to this woman's father, a travelling magician. Which plays, a, what used to play, eight songs. And the sixth song is called The Last Rose of Summer. He got it as a gift for her mother, but it hasn't worked for decades. Repairing the music box is a painstaking job, as it needs all of its pins meticulously replacing. But they pull it off, and are able to listen to The Last Rose of Summer again almost a hundred years after her parents were married in the 1920s. Oh. Okay. Music can bring people together like nothing else. Last time I heard that was my dad was Number five, Judy Dench's pocket watch. How long was you married to Michael for? Just under 30 years. Wow. But he got lung cancer, mm. uh, and um, he died in 2001. Dame Judy Dench arrives at the barn with a broken pocket watch she once gave to her husband of three decades, who passed away in the 2000s. I gave it to my husband, Michael Williams, yeah. who was playing Charles Courtley when we did London Assurance. It's up to Steve, the resident clockwork expert, to work out why the watch has stopped working. I bought it because it's rather suitable for the play, actually. Okay. He did wear it in his waistcoat pocket, and it seemed a perfect present. It's an easier fix than initially thought, however, as all it really needs is a good clean with some specialist equipment. Fixing the watch brings back Dame Judy's memories of her late husband and the early days of their marriage, including performances they did together and all the good times they had. As you're looking at the watch, you just go somewhere. Where do you go? I know, I suppose I just have the memories of it. Number four, Broken Jukebox. Like the music box, there's a particular song in this jukebox that holds significant memories for the owner. In this case, it's Glenn Miller's Moonlight Serenade, which was playing during the wedding of the owner Jeff and his late wife Marie. Shortly after that, I met the beautiful Marie, and in 1978, Marie and I married. But we couldn't afford a reception, so we had it in our dining room. They had the wedding reception at home and used the jukebox for the music, but it's since stopped working. Marie died seven years ago, almost, uh, of a brain tumour. And I, I, at first I just couldn't play the jukebox. Jeff wants it repaired so he doesn't lose that connection to his wife and can relive their wedding day. It was a privilege for the team to work on something like this and repair the antique. If we were able to bring it back to life, what would it mean to you? Well, it, it has the ability to take me back to that moment on our wedding day. Number three, radio. Albert's radio has been fixed many times over the years, including using the handles of toothbrushes to replace some missing pieces. We used to take it all over with us, you know, in, in car and get out at car, go up beach. Albert bought it for his wife Eileen early in their relationship, and it provided the music and entertainment for years. I really do miss her. It's all right. And it's never gone since. So it's very precious to you, isn't it? It is. But eventually, the radio stopped working completely, and various experts are called in to restore it to its former glory. It's a difficult fix, but Albert's reaction makes it all worthwhile. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's brought to tears just seeing the radio looking brand new, let alone hearing it play music again. Oh, I don't know what to say. Don't have to say anything. You've said everything by the way you are. Number two, wooden box. In the corner of the loft underneath the eaves was a box. This box. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. Alan arrives at the barn with an old, worn-down writing slope he'd found in his sister's attic after she passed. But in the story he tells Will, when he opened the box, he discovered adoption papers revealing that his sister was, in fact, his mother, and his parents were actually his grandparents. Your sister yeah. is actually your... Mother. Mother. Yeah. And she never, ever let on. So you only found out that information because of this? Yeah. 
My gosh. Because of its sentimental value, Will works tirelessly to restore the box. It's a difficult job involving using an iron to heat up old glue, using strong chemicals to clean off all the grime, and making a new leather interior. But you can't put a price on something that is this significant. I really want it to look wonderful and turn it into a beautiful treasure chest that Adam can put his treasured possessions back into. Number one, Penny Horse. This old toy horse has seen better days, and Will needs to get Susie's help to repair its old saddle. He explains that the owner's husband name could be written underneath it, left over from when it was last painted 40 years ago. <sighs> She offers to make a new saddle from scratch, and in the process of removing the old one, finds the signature. I too lost my husband to cancer. She then reveals that she's been through a similar loss to the owner, and is moved to tears upon reading Paul's name on the horse's back. It seems so insignificant, someone's name, that they wrote. It's, it's so personal. Thankfully, her brother Steve was also in the barn that day, so he could be there for her. I'm really pleased for Julie, that it's here. <sighs> really pleased for the children. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.